take a look at the world all around you. Matter is all around us. Solids, liquids, gases, plasma, everything you see, touch, or even breathe is made of matter. Welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to be discussing solids, liquids, and gases and the states of matter. Let's begin. Hmm, what exactly is this matter that we're talking about? What exactly is it made out of? All matter is made out of atoms. Atoms are the smallest particle of matter. They're so small that you cannot see them with your eyes or even a basic microscope. Hmm, what are states of matter? A state of matter is one of the distinct forms that matter can exist. Four states of matter are observable in your everyday life. Those are solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. First, let's discuss solids. As a solid, the molecules are tightly packed together and they cannot move very much. Unlike a liquid, a solid object does not flow to take on the shape of its container, nor does it expand to fill the entire volume available to it like a gas does. Liquid water becomes a solid below a temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's talk about liquids. As a liquid, the molecules have more space and can move about more. Water freezes and becomes a solid below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Water turns into a gas at its boiling point of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's discuss gases. Gas molecules move very fast and are even farther apart than other liquids and solids. Water becomes a gas or a vapor at its boiling point of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Lastly, let's discuss plasma. If you heat a gas or lower its temperature enough, the atoms come apart to form a cloud with an electric charge. Plasma is made of charged particles called electrons and ions. Ions are atoms that are missing electrons. Plasma acts in strange ways around magnets and electricity because of their charge. Can states of matter change from one to another? States of matter can change. For example, water, a liquid, can turn into ice, which is a solid. Heat it up and the ice becomes steam, which is a gas. So the answer is yes. First, let's talk about sublimation. Solids can be made into a gas without making liquid first. Dry ice heats up rapidly to form a cold gas when exposed to air. Next, let's talk about deposition. Gases can turn directly into solids without first becoming liquids. Cooled water vapor can condense and freeze forming snow and clouds or frost on the ground. Next, let's talk about solids and freezing. Atoms and molecules slowly come together as liquids lose their energy. When bonds form, the molecules have locked together forming a solid. Now let's talk about melting. Solids change to liquids by melting. Water molecules move apart becoming a liquid. Now let's talk about condensation. Liquid can form from a gas that has been cooled or had its pressure lowered. Now let's talk about evaporation. Atoms and molecules gain more energy when a liquid is heated. Some escape from the liquid forming a gas. To summarize, we need to understand that matter is all around us. Solids, liquids, gases, plasma, everything that you see, touch, or even breathe is made of matter. Matter is made out of atoms, and the arrangement of atoms determines whether the substance is solid, liquid, gas, or plasma. These are all states of matter. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest page. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. And check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com. See you later.